Welcome to Above and Beyond with Laura Smith, the show that takes you above and beyond with the world's most transformational thinkers, top celebrity psychics, mediums, and astrologers. Call in now for a free reading. 800-848-WABC. That's 800-848-9222. Let's go above and beyond. Here's Laura Smith. Oh, great to be with you. Brand new show still here in month one of Above and Beyond with Laura Smith, and I'm very grateful. Thank you, Jake Hirsch, for opening up the show with your beautiful voice. If you'd like Jake to voice anything of your product or your business, anything like that, go to ProTunes.com. That's P-R-O-T-O-O-N-S. Well, welcome to what is now the third episode, the third uh uh, in this uh, wonderful new journey that I'm taking here. This is, again, a program that I have had several times before in different iterations in my life, and I'm just so grateful to be here at WABC. I'd love to bring you people that can hopefully um, make you think differently about the way you look at things or the way you experience life. And um, I'm very fortunate uh, to also have the top psychics and mediums here as well, and you get to call in Yeah. That's right. You get a free reading, which is uh, very unusual, but you get a free reading here on the air. 800-848-WABC. 800-848-9222. We'll get to as many people as we possibly can. But before we go to Zenobia Simmons, who is my wonderful psychic in charge tonight, I have on a very dear friend who... Well, not only is she a dear friend, not only has she been on my many other shows that I've had in my life, but guess what? She is starting her own show here on WABC tonight tonight at 10 p.m. So I want to welcome not only to my program, but to the radio station and the WABC family, Dr. Carmen Hara. She's a best-selling author of seven books. Everyday Karma was her first one. She has a brand new one coming out in May called The Karma Queen's Guide to Relationship. And that's coming out, as I said, in May. And it's going to also be a television show with her beautiful daughter, Alexandra, coming in November. So it's just too many exciting things. She's also a psychologist. She's a counselor. And the name of her new program tonight at 10 p.m. is Miracle Guidance for Everyday Life. And it is also a call-in show. Do yourself a favor. Get counseled and the intuition because in, in, in addition to being a psychologist and a writer and everything, Carmen is actually a very gifted intuitive herself. So enough said. Welcome to the show, Carmen. Oh, my God, Laura, I'm super excited because I remember our time together many years ago doing the same kind of show. And I'm so excited that you're doing this. This is fabulous. Isn't it amazing? It's, it's amazing. It's it's uh, yeah. literally like eight years later. Yes. And actually, the show is the same name because I did this. Yeah, uh, yeah. You should never change the name because it's a perfect name. Well, thank you. Yeah. I hope so. And yeah. it just means so much to have you here and, and to bring you Me to the too. audience. And, and the fact that you're you're starting the show, you, you have written so many books, but you, you really focus Focus in on sort of where the divine, uh, divine truth and reality meets everyday life. That's kind of your specialty, and you give incredible counseling to people and have done so for so many years. Um, and this is all coming together now in this television show that you're doing, which is actually very cute. I just saw the trailer for that. Is going to be a lot of fun. So it's not just all serious stuff, but you're incorporating your intuition there. Is it you're the psychic mother to a psychic daughter, correct? Absolutely. We are all psychics. What people don't understand is the way the brain works. The left hemisphere of the brain is um, um, the cognitive mind, is the logical mind, the mind that operates when you're awake on the world that you see, you taste, you smell, you hear. But the right side of the brain is the seat of the intuition because 90% of your reality is actually in the right side of the brain. If you think of Einstein used to say, for me to discover gravity, I have to sleep on the right side of the brain. For the people to access all the memories that are dormant, all their problem and the seat of intuition, they need to focus more on sleeping on the right side of the brain, you become more intuitive, but it's one of this ability of the brain to transcend the physics, to break chronology, to go beyond the world that you see and smell and taste and hear. So um, how can you bridge the two level of the brain? How can you bridge the cognition, the reasoning, uh, the cognitive mind, you know, with the subconscious mind? And if you do that, then you go beyond the sensory level into a higher dimension of yourself. And then you actually bridge your reality 
ready with your vision. And then you have the bigger picture and then you create the best version of yourself. And I think it's magnificent for people to understand that they're all, they are all intuitive and intuition is one of the most uh, fascinating ability of the brain, exactly like the brain has memory, I- imagination, logic, creativity, all these skills including intuition that is the most powerful one in my opinion. Absolutely. I agree with you and and it to me is just an inherent gift that we all have. Um some people take um they they take a not offense I would say but some actually do. They think that it's some being able to foretell events is somehow antithetical to their Christian beliefs or their religious beliefs. And and I never really understood that because almost every single major figure in the Old Testament and the New Testament they're all prophets. They're all seers. Absolutely. And the Bible is all prophecies and prediction. And I think on the other hand, that it's time to change the concept of prophecies and prediction from being always negative and dramatic and influencing the collective mind of the planet where people are saying, oh my God, it's the end of the world. It's 2012. What's going to happen to us? Instead of saying, let's come together, let's save the world, that prediction are meant to prevent. And they have a psychological effect on people's mind. You know, they shift your perception they open a door you know i love making prediction you know because i listened to the program before and they were talking about hillary this was one of my prediction in my first book 20 years ago i said there, there come a time in our evolution when the woman will lead america because we need the female figure mm-hmm. we need to to bring together the black and white and the male and female so it's time for the female energy after 2000 which is two which is a female energy to come back in power and rule the world and and the female energy Energy brings the, the healing energy. We need the world to be healed and come as one. We need the oneness. Yes, absolutely. So so you use you actually use your psychology plus your intuition plus you, you now you've touched into what it sounds like numerology well, a little bit. Well, I touch in the ancient teaching that I bring them in a modern form because if you think of the physical world we are living in and we're so trapped in this physical world. And actually what the mind has the ability to see when you go beyond the cognition, you go in the world beyond the physics. You know, when, when you go beyond this world, then you, then you, uh, you see and you envision into the world of your vision. So you have the power to project what's ahead of you. And what's more fascinating than be able to take control of your life and take control of your future. And reality reflects what the mind projects. So what you think, what you think you become, if you think highly of yourself, you can create a bad version of yourself. So when somebody makes your prediction, they open something in your mind. They open a door that has been locked, that has been blocked. So even my show that I'm, that I'm starting today, it's all about creating the miracle every single day by believing in the miracle. Right. You have you know? to be able to yeah. get there mm-hmm. um, emotionally, spiritually, and mentally in order for it to play out in it what we call reality, which is actually illusory. I exactly. think it's really um, very fluid. It depends on what you think, what you believe, that uh, you, what your perception is, and, and therefore becomes your reality. I totally agree with that. You, your first book was uh, Everyday Karma, and now this new program that you have with your beautiful daughter, Alex, is the Karma Queens. Now, so there's the word again. So there's a very... There's an ancient, obviously, meaning behind the word, and then there's a playful thing, and we all use, oh, that's good karma. And well, well so no one can be uh, queens of karma or kings of karma. You know, and what does and it And you mean? both happen to be from yeah. queens, so that's but the other yeah, play on the... We're playing uh, the, the, the word. But yes. But know, tell us, give, give our audience, for people who say they've heard the word but really don't understand what it is, give, give us a little 101 on what karma actually is. You know, the number one law of the universe, the foundation of all the laws is the law of karma, because karma is the accumulation of your intention, your thoughts, uh, your um, the way you project the world, everything creates your memory, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, um, karma is such a, a powerful uh, um, way to express yourself because it, it plays out in your life and everything that's happening to you is karmic, you know, it is can it be like- a- accounted for your um, insecurities, for your emotional problem, for what goes wrong into your life. It's all karmic. Let's say uh, karma can be accountable for your missing father figure, for the fact that you don't attract the right person into your life because you already created a negative karma in a previous relationship. So it's the repetition. Imagine karma like some kind of a will, you know, and you get 
get trapped in that will. Mm -hmm. If you don't break the will and if you don't break that pattern of behavior, you'll continue to create the same situation over and over again. And it is in, is in individual. So there's individual karma. There's family karma. With the people who come into your life and you have a karmic connection with, you have those memories that you need to work. And it's global. You know, it's interesting. We're in 2015. It's a karmic year. We've been waiting for a karmic year for a very long time. And that's why, you know, the, uh, the decision of Hillary is in this year. All the decision of presidential election are happening in 2015. A lot of good positive things are happening to us in this year because being karmic means recognition, uh, uh, power in terms of finance. So the world is going to turn around financially this year and not last year and more this year than next year. So whatever turn point karmic gears are very powerful so uh, karma as i said is not a law of punishment is not only the newtonian love what goes around comes around it's much more than that you know is the accumulation of all your intention and thoughts that you've ever created you know that exists sometimes dormant in the right side of the brain right okay <laughs> uh, that's interesting very um it, it's esoteric and yet it's it's very kind of simple it's about life you know and, it's very simple and, and jesus said it in the bible he said with what measure you meet will be meted unto you again exactly. so it's really basically that but it, it's it's also good to know that it, can we can we change our karma oh yes that's the thing that's the thing about karma karma is something you need to acknowledge karma is reversible and karma requires action the moment you acknowledge the karma that you project, so you're, the moment you acknowledge your own intention out there, and the moment you realize you don't treat yourself right, you create bad karma towards yourself, you acknowledge, you can reverse it because you take a different action and choose to create positive karma. For, so in other words, your intention probably were negative in the past, but the day when you decide to change your intention in the positive direction, you shift that so you can erase the previous karmic information. Mm -hmm. The mistake that people do, they got stuck into the same pattern of behavior. Mm -hmm. Living in the moment, I would yes. imagine, then is really, really important so to not repeat. Uh, you know, past. But the problem is you live in the moment, but you actually at the subconscious level, because that's more powerful than consciousness, and that's 90% of who you are, you actually live in your past. And you sabotage yourself uh, unconsciously, though you pretend, oh, I want to break this relation, I want to bring somebody else in my life, but without even realizing, I continue to create the same pattern because subconsciously it's going to sabotage me to do the right thing. So you need to dig deeper within yourself and see where the problem is. Mm -hmm. That's why it's so relevant to go somebody who will unlock the key, that unlock that door mm -hmm. and bring the, the information to the surface so you can delete it exactly like you delete something in the computer. Mm -hmm. And when you delete that, you can start fresh. You're not tied into your past. Right. And that's, isn't and that what we all want? Yes, a, a fresh, exactly. A fresh start. A fresh start every day. <laughs> and it is indeed. And it's your fresh start today on WABC hey, Radio. Really right fresh here. and really a new start. Yes. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, what you just heard was just a snippet of what you're going to get for an entire hour plus your phone calls with uh, Dr. Carmen Har's brand new show starting tonight at 10 p.m. And it's wonderful, actually. Miracle guidance for everyday life. And she'll give it to you. So really take advantage of having an hour of live interactive radio with this wonderful woman, an author, a psychologist, a counselor, an intuitive, and just an all-around great, great lady. Carmen, wonderful to have you. Thank you for blessing uh, this this iteration of the show. Oh, my God. I'm so proud of you, Laura. You're doing such a magnificent job. You're beautiful. You're amazing. You're talented. I don't find enough words to, you know, to express my gratitude and to honor your presence here. You are, you're a you magic. Well, you're magic. We, we, it was destiny that we meet, and I gr I'm grateful to you for that. Coming up in the next, uh, for the next 45 minutes, I have the great psychic and a card reader. Her name is Zenobia Simmons. I saw her when she was on the, the America's Psychic Challenge TV show several years ago, and I said to my booking agent, I said, get that girl. I want her on my show. And lo and behold, she's on tonight for you taking your phone calls. And so get ready. Dial in 800-848-WABC. 800-848-9222. Also, this is being videotaped. Totally forgot. Didn't put my lipstick on. Never, ne you know, radio and TV. Hold different things, but we're going to be posting this on YouTube. So if you'd like to see what the gorgeous 
Dr. Carmen Hara looks like, as well as Zenobia Simmons and me without my lipstick on tonight and in a T-shirt of all things, uh, by all means, look for us at Above and Beyond Radio with Laura Smith on YouTube. And we will be right back after this. You are listening to Above and Beyond. Stick around.